on, little one. You can do it. YouTube cameo. Oh my god. Our first doggy outing. Hello, little one. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, uh, stay in, stay in. Sit, good girl. Sit. He's got her a little um, harness. That's good girl. You can stay there. Sit, sit down. Yeah, you got your little treat. Oh gosh, we're driving to Newcastle today. Wish us luck. Right, sit down. Close the door. Brilliant. Hello, hello, little one. Ivy, pop. Ivy, hello. You're all right. You're doing well. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are we all? Um. Today is the last vlog of 2019 Vlogmas and it's going to be a good one, doing the food shop and we're also going to Newcastle to do a bit of Christmas shopping and we've got the little pup in the um, in the realm behind. You're right Ivy, you're going to be grand aren't you? Bless you. I'm going to install you on my camera here but um, you might see her popping through behind, bear with me two seconds. Brilliant. Do you know the way? No. To Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are off to Newcastle today. Um, I'm off to pick up a coffee machine because um, Mum and Billy are very kindly giving me some money and I had a voucher for John Lewis so collectively I'm going to treat myself to a new coffee machine which I actually had my eyes on for quite some time so yeah we're heading to Newcastle I'm originally from Durham but um, Newcastle's just up the road so it's not too far at all um, so yeah that's the plan and then I'm going to be doing the food shop later which I'm going to take you along for as well Christmas dinner in the UK is a big tradition and we do go all out overconsumption is definitely a thing so yeah prepare for probably a very angry trip to Sainsbury's which is going to be very interesting there's going to be a lot of trolleys I'm going to get my camera out as much as I possibly can probably going to get shouted at by a lot of people but hey ho oh, that's what Christmas is all about I've got Billy and Tor next to me but I can't move the camera because I'm mounted and we're off to Newcastle for the day I'm taking the pup out because she hasn't been out well out out has she been anywhere before? no no at all? no Just, okay so this is her first proper out she seems to be doing well Doggy harness is brilliant. Where'd you get it from? eBay around this? £5. Anyone out there who is wanting a doggy harness who's maybe got a little pup for Christmas, I would definitely recommend getting one because obviously. Or a two that is that how much it is? No. Well it's two thousand pounds fine, plus you run the risk of obviously your little pup not being secured in, which obviously isn't really good at all, so yeah. And she seems to be coping really well. Time for singing Christmas Ivy does the stairs. A little bit down. Oh god. The car park we've parked in is um quite a large multi story. Come on. Come on little one, you can do it. <laughs> Good girl, Ivy. Good girl. She's doing so well. Look at that. <laughs> She's already had a little tinkle because she got so excited at a beagle. Wouldn't be a Christmas vlog if it wasn't a visit to some former Christmas market. I've done seven of these this year, you know. Well, I'm all for Christmas. Okay, so I came to Newcastle because, as I said in the car, I'm going to be picking up my coffee machine for Christmas. Um, I've just dropped Billy off with the dog because the shopping centre, which we are about to go into, doesn't actually allow dogs, which is really annoying. But um, yeah, we're going to go in. I'm going to get my coffee machine and head back. All the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it So this is the coffee machine that I'm going for. I've done a bit of research and then this is the Sage Bean A Cup coffee machine. It's quite expensive but um, it's a Christmas present from my mum and Billy. So I've just came and started to collect it which is very very kind. I've got it just down here. Eek! I'm so excited. Okay, it's been a bit of a mad one today, not gonna lie guys. Um, I didn't really have time to vlog much when I was in Newcastle because Ivy was getting a, oh, Ivy was getting a lot of attention. And also, um, my car park was only on for an hour, so we kind of had to just go. Oh, it was a car come. We kind of had to go and come back, which was not great in terms of vlog content. So it was a very brief look at Newcastle, and I'm, I'm going to be going back throughout the festive period. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, sorry, I'm just double checking. Yeah, we're good. Um, so yes, I'm off to do the food grocery shop now. My mum's at work today. Today is Monday. Um, so I've offered to do the food grocery shop for her and um, Sainsbury's have been very very generous because I work with Sainsbury's 
um, as a taste maker, which is awesome, as I love food and I love Sainsbury's. Um, so they very kindly sent over a voucher just as a Merry Christmas for everything that I've done with those guys this year. Obviously, it's a work and partnership, which is awesome. So I thought I'd declare that now. So they very kindly sent over a, um, a voucher, a voucher for me to use, which is amazing. So I'm heading to Sainsbury's now. It's about mm, 20 minutes from our house. It's not far at all, really. And I'm going to go do the food grocery shop for Christmas. The Christmas dinner grocery shop two days before Christmas, which sounds a bit nuts. I know. <laughs> But I'm hoping a lot of people do tend to shop early. So I'm thinking, fingers crossed, it's not gonna be too busy. It's around, it's quarter to one now. So in theory, in theory, it shouldn't be too busy. Mum's written me a list, which is here. Um, so yes, wish me luck. Let's play some Christmas music, and try and stay calm. Okay, instant regret, Sainsbury's is Rammed, which is wonderful. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's actually not. Oh, okay. Sainsbury's potentially isn't that bit. Oh, good lord, it is. Okay, great. Well, here we are. Um, I need to say my prayers <laughs> and hope and pray that there is actually any food left. I mean, I know I am conforming to the going to buy some food for Christmas, but I'm not buying a lot. Mm, there are spaces. Usually if there's spaces in a car park, it means there's hope. In we go. This is going to either go successfully well or terribly wrong. Okay, so first thing on the list is vegetables, which is handy. And small oranges. Small oranges. Check. Okay, this is wonderful. This is basically everything I need. Sprouts. Check. Parsnips. Check. Carrots. Mm. Let's do an average size bag. Check. They're all 35p each. That's brilliant. Insbury's absolute legends. Just gonna do these, which are mm, maybe these ones. Excellent all round potatoes. I feel like limes and lemons are always good to have, so I'm just gonna get a couple of those because they're handy. They have gin and tonics. Okay, so we're gonna get ordinary bacon because this is what we need. Just gonna for that. And then we're gonna do some of this taste the difference. Um, Streaky 14 day cured bacon as well. I'm smashing through this. What else do we need? Um, let's check, check, check. Ordinary bacon, streaky bacon. Oh my god, I've nearly done it all. Okay, so cheese is something I'm going to need to tackle. Pickled onions and brown sauce. Goose fat. Let's go and try on the goose fat. Gonna get some pre roll puff pastry. Oh, they've got this. Yeah. Oh, it's phyllo. Ran out of puff, damn it. Okay, just roll, that'll do. I'm gonna get some of this just roll pastry because mum saw us make some Stilton puffs at the weekend with my auntie and uncle, so she wants some. So yeah, gonna get some of that. And I just got us some um, pate and some charcuterie to have um, maybe on Christmas day evening, so that's really good. Wasn't on the list, but I'm getting it anyway. Okay, so the camembert has been completely ransacked. There's absolutely no camembert left, which is awesome. The only camembert they actually do have is this one with cranberries and walnuts, which actually might be quite nice. I'm gonna pop that in. So mum's warned us to see and not to get any desserts because we never eat them, but I'm gonna make some mince pies anyway. But these do look amazing. Some salted caramel fritter rolls, some cheesecakes. Oh, this looks good. Oh yeah. But apparently not to get any of them. Okay, we'll get a bottle of Prosecco because I feel like that would be nice to have on Christmas morning with the orange juice. Do a little books fizz, that's lovely. Maybe we should get two. I feel like we should probably get two. Okay, I'm now on the hunt for eggs and um, I need to get like sweet mints, which is like mince, but it wasn't mince pies. Nearly there, folks. Didn't take too long at all. Ah, eggs, here we go. <laughs> Gonna grab some crisps as well to have just as like a little nibble. Thai sweet chili, they sound good. Mature cheddar and spring onion, yep. The taste of the difference range is absolutely delicious. It's so, so good. So I found the mince meat, and this is what we get every year to the Robertsons. We had a little bit more into it, but this is such a good one, and it's a classic. It's only a pound as well. I was gonna grab some of this Union Street coffee because it's supposed to be really, really good for the coffee machine, but apparently Mum's already got me some for Christmas, so I'm, I'm not gonna grab that. But this is supposed to be really, really nice. And it's an offer at the minute for four pounds. Okay, we're on the last hurdle now. We just need sage and something else. Sage is definitely one of the things we need. I'm gonna grab some of these prawn lollipops because they look amazing. Very, very nice. And maybe some, 
Oh, I don't know, maybe some hoisin spring rolls as well? So they're always good, like, I feel like party food's always nice to have in the freezer, for sure. Okay, this looks incredible. Thick cream with Baileys. Hello! I genuinely think I'm done. This is a present from my friend Charlotte and so is this here. But apart from that, I think I am well and truly sorted for Christmas. The lights to the Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm. One thing I actually didn't think about was that I have a coffee machine in here. So all of this is going to have to get packed up because I left my bags in the boot. And then I'm going to have to try and put them in the back seat. Goody. As soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. Okay, so that went well. I feel like that went really well. Um, it actually, how do I get out? I'm gonna presume it's this way. Um, yes, do you know what? All things considered, not actually too bad. I was in and out in there in like an hour, which is brilliant. Um, it was busy, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was busy. Um, the only thing that really was a bit like, mm, was that there wasn't really a great selection of party food, which I kind of had my heart set on because I do love a bit of like nibbles, but I've kind of created my own. Um, form of party foods because, sorry, car, the car park's more busy than the actual supermarket. Um, yeah, I've got some like pate, some hummus, some olives, um, some like cheese, some crackers, some breadsticks. Um, I'm gonna be making sausage rolls, so I guess that's good. And I did get some like barbecue pork um, like bites, which sound delicious. And yeah, apart from that, fine, got all the veg. Didn't get cauliflower and I didn't get sage. So that might have to be a bit of a Mission. I might see if I can try and scoot past another supermarket. I mean, it's literally your last two things that we need, and we're all done. But um, yeah. Apart from that, absolutely spot on. Sainsbury's, you served me well. I made it home. Hello, little Ivy. Hello, hello. And you're gonna help me unpack the shopping? Hmm? Just had a day trip out. Look at all the shopping. You're gonna help me? I'm just. I'm not gonna go through everything because, obviously, Christmas dinner shopping is pretty much. Um, standard, but this is from my friend Charlotte for his little Christmas present. She said she got me something and I felt really bad and didn't, so. Got her a little planned. Other things to note. Prosecco, Canti Prosecco. On offer for 7 50 so I got two of those. Delightful. Um, but, oh, that's also why I got Charlotte. This Blue Planet calendar because she really likes animals. She's actually a vet, so it's a nice thing for her. So that's the presents I need to wrap up. And just pop those to the side. Lovely. Um, I got some party food. Poison duck spring rolls, and I got some prawn lollipops. Oh, nice. What else is worth noting? Mum's sugar free black currant ribena. Don't know why she asked for that. Mm. What else did I get? Oh, a little mini Sipsmith gin as well. Got a little Sipsmith gin. Let's put that there. And then the rest is in here, it's just kind of just like cabbage and herbs and that kind of thing. So I'm back from Sainsbury's and I've just unpacked all of the shopping. There's actually quite a lot here, but I got everything I needed in like a couple of little added extras I think mama like. So this is kind of like the, um, I'm gonna say the deli selection. So I got some two types of cheeses. Uh, I got three types of cheese actually. Blue Stilton, which I'm gonna do the Blue Stilton Puffs with. Some Mexican style chili cheddar, which is lovely. Billy likes this and some Castello blue cheese as well. I got some smooth chicken liver parfait, which is delicious. It's like the festive edition. And I got Billy and Mum some lemon and herb green olives because they love them. Um, I got some caramelized onion hummus and then some pork pies. So I got a Bramley apple pork pie and a Henry Walker last pork pie for me and Billy. Mum doesn't really like pork pies, so I got those. Um, and then I also just got this, which is like a charcuterie platter of all like deli meats and just some crackers just to have with the cheese. And then bacon wise, I got the Bailey's extra cream, extra thick cream that I was telling you guys about. And then the mince meat to make mince pies. And then I just got some um, free range eggs. Party food, I got the Sainsbury's Taste for Distant Difference Ultimate Barbecue Pork Belly Bites, which sounds amazing. And then this is the um, camembert that I was telling you about with cranberries and caramelized red onion chutney. And the goose fat is for the roast potatoes. 
and then it's got a sheet of rough puff uh, roll pastry, some orange juice for the Prosecco, some ketchup to have with our bacon sandwiches in the morning, and then that's the bacon for the sausages to do pigs and blankets. So that's everything. And then here, oh, I just got some bread buns for the bacon sandwiches, and then some part bit baguettes for the um, leftover meat that we have in the sandwiches later on in the evening on Christmas. And then just two types of crisps. Some Thai sweet chili and some mature cheddar spring onion. And then that's actually it in terms of that. I kind of just got loads of veggies, obviously, because it's a roast dinner is primarily vegetables. So I've got some sprouts, um, some potatoes, some red cabbage, turnip, um, carrots, s oranges, some broccoli underneath there, and some herbs or parsnips, my favourite. And a partridge and a pear tree. Ooh, now I've got to put all this away. That was good. Honestly, thank you so much, Sainsbury's. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know um, what your Christmas traditions are, if there's anything I haven't missed. The only thing I really needed was cauliflower, and they didn't have any cauliflower, because we do cauliflower cheese, so I might have to head out and see if I can grab one of those. I didn't see one in the supermarket on the way home, so I might have to have a look. Ivy, is that my slipper? Yeah. Ivy, that's my slipper you've got there. Excuse me, little puppy. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh-uh. Have my slipper back. Look at all these toys you have. Look, how about this one? Do you want this one instead? Nope. <laughs> How about this is a little rat? Excuse me, I don't want doggy slobber all over my. Nope. 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 That's not very festive of you. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to come to some sort of compromise here. What's this? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Please. Right. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh. You little lump. Oh, come on. Come on. Give us a little. Give us a little. There we go. Right. 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 A little cuddle. Little cuddle. Little cuddle. Now. Have you had your dinner? Have you did dins? Smile, you're on camera. Hi. Hi. Hey, little guy. So this card has just arrived and I am going to open it with little Ivy. Come on. It's from Ewan, and I am absolutely so excited to show you this. Bear with me, let's pop the light on. Two seconds. Ah, oh, right, there we are. Say hello to the people of YouTube. Okay, so I've just been sent this card from Ewan, <laughs> and this is from mypostcard.com. It's really, really cool because um, he told me about it, actually. It's an app where you can record personalized notes for people. Um, it's not just for Christmas, you can do it all year round. But this is what he sent over. Um, so it's loads of photos of us, there's some from here. God, way, way back, the one on the top. Um, oh, sorry, it's quite hard to do with one hand. The one on the top there, so if you guys can see, is um, one of our first working sessions. I was still at university. That was maybe a year and a half ago. And there's ones with us and Kate at the blog sphere. So let's open this up and see what it says. Yes. And mince pies. Yes. And yes. And gin. Yes. Maybe a cheeky prosecco. Let's not forget the Baileys. All of that good stuff. I, um, I just want to say a massive thank you for being such a good friend. Look at the memories from the last year. I can't believe how much we've got up to. And I'm so excited to be making more memories in 2020. Bring on the chaos. Bring on the carnage. We're going to have a great time. But yeah, hope you're having a brilliant Christmas. Happy New Year. Lots of love to all the family. I hope Ivy's behaving as well. That's you. And I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God, that's, that is genuinely. And look, he's even put a picture. I want to start again, but he's put a picture of us two Hello, in mate. there. Oh, that is brilliant. Ivy, did you like that? That's a message from Mr. Carrington. I feel like you're going to get to meet him really soon. I've a bit preoccupied with the um, treats that are on the floor. That is brilliant. I'm going to pop her down because she's just can't stay still. Ivy, uh, Ivy, you and that is so thoughtful. Genuinely, that's brilliant. If you guys want to check them out, yeah, my postcard app. They're on the Google Play Store and on Apple. It's Germany's number one postcard app. That is just, that's wonderful. You're already a hit, Ivy. I've been reading the YouTube comments. People love you. Ready? Ready? One, Ivy. Two. Woo! Oh, Merry Christmas, Ivy. 
Oops, Come and kiss. No, that's too much. We'll work on that one. <laughs> Good morning, little puppy. Good morning. Hi. Hi. You're so excitable this morning, aren't you? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> now she goes to say hello to mum. Hi. <laughs> now go say hello. Oh, hello, little one. Now you've finished your breakfast, you can come and say hello. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. Come on, everybody. So look who I've got in the back. Little Ivy, she's all wrapped up and good to go. Um, today is Christmas Eve and this is going to be the last installation of the Christmas vlogs for 2019 and it's a really really exciting one. I'm all dressed and ready. I'm in my car. Like I say I've got Ivy just behind. I'm going to put the heating on for us so she stays a little bit warm. Um, I'm off to meet my friend Leanne who I um, used to work with a very long time ago. Oh god I met Leanne in 2000 and 14 and we went traveling together we went to thailand and america and it was it was really really lovely and i haven't seen her in so so long um and she's got two very very lovely spaniels which actually has three spaniels she's got jake who is a springer spaniel who's more of like her family dog and then leanne moved house and has two cocker spaniels which are called sunny and cooper and sunny's a little pup she's just got him recently and he's just so cute so i'm gonna take ivy along um she's just fast asleep in the back so yeah I'm going to go to a place called The White Church. Um, it's apparently new and recently opened and it's dog friendly in London. In London? <laughs> in Durham, sorry. Wow, I don't even know where I am half the time. Okay. I'm so excited. And then I'm going to go meet my friend Charlotte um, later on and give her a Christmas present. And then mum finishes work. Yeah, mum's work on Christmas Eve. But I know a lot of people do work Christmas Eve. So, you know, mum's just said, hey ho, just got to do it. So yeah, we, um, we're going to have a lovely little afternoon, evening bake. And we're doing some mince pies and sausage rolls and all that good stuff. So yeah. That's today's agenda. Just here. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Right, this is the reunion I've been waiting for for so long. Look at your friends. Look at these little guys. Oh my god, I love Sonny's jumper. This is literally... Oh, be nice. Okay, so Cooper is the little gorgeous brown no. cocker. And yeah, he is. This is cute, isn't it? Ginger. Yeah, brown. Oh, did you say ginger? I'm colorblind a little bit. And then I was going to say chocolate brown. Hey, stop it, Ivy. And then Ivy's the excited one who I keeps on her. aggravating everyone. <laughs> oh god, this is madness. Sonny has stolen my heart and his little jumper. Good boy, good boy, Cooper. Ivy, this is for you, little one. Oh, okay. oh my god, I'm such a bad dog parent. I brought nothing. <laughs> got a cheeky little bit of avocado toast. Nan's went for mushrooms on toast with some eggs. And we've got one little satisfied puppy, two satisfied little pup, and little three coming through up there. <laughs> coming up with the extra stay. Hey, mate. Hello. Oh my god, people are going to love you. This is your YouTube cameo. Oh my god, he literally looks, he's looking straight to the camera. He's like, hi. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Cooper though, he's getting jealous. He's like, excuse me, can I have my cameo please? <laughs> Cooper, you're beautiful too. You have my heart. Okay. Ivy's doing well. She isn't. <laughs> She just wants to be friends with these guys. She hasn't quite learned the art of not nibbling to say hello. She'll get there though, I'm sure. You're right though. You're okay. There we are. It was the night before Christmas. And all was well. Tesco's shelves were bare. Not even, I can't even think of a rhyme, basically. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I've just finished um, seeing Leanne and it was a really, really lovely time. Um, her dogs are the cutest. Um, I'm just obsessed, literally. I uh, just met up with my friend Charlotte as well and we've just exchanged some gifts. Just filled this bag full of goodies, which is just ridiculously nice. Um, I'm going to be seeing Charlotte on the 27th, which is her birthday. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so just nipped into Tesco to grab a cauliflower and some sage. This is what it was like in there. That is nuts. That's in our local Tesco, which is just crazy. But I did actually manage to get a cauliflower, which is awesome. So yes, one cauliflower. I got a pomegranate for the, um, what did I get a pomegranate for? 
cabbage, the red cabbage, some cheese for the cauliflower cheese. Gosh, I've got many an item in my pocket. And some sage. I mean, it's dried sage, which obviously isn't the best, but um, fresh sage this time of year is apparently very difficult to come by. Mum's had a small panic attack about this sage. It's, she doesn't even say good morning to me anymore. It's, have you got sage? So, um, yeah, and I got myself a pack of time, which I know it's really not great, but it's been a mad old day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end this Christmas Eve vlog here. Um, what I thought I would do, rather than just not get any Christmas content at all, because I love making the vlogs for, obviously, to be able for me to watch them back in years to come, and then also um, for you guys to enjoy too. So, I'm going to be maybe just picking my camera up as and when, and just filming, like, a nice montage of Christmas -y video. I think that would be really nice. So, um, yeah, I might not even talk on it, just... Lots of nice Christmas bits. I think that might be lovely. But yeah, thank you so much for watching along this Vlogmas. Um, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing Christmas tomorrow, which I know, um, obviously different time zones and stuff. If it's Christmas when you're watching this now, then Merry Christmas. Um, but here in the UK, it's Christmas Eve. Genuinely, I hope you all have a lovely day, whatever you are getting up to, whether you're celebrating with friends, family, or if you aren't celebrating, or if you're just having a merry old time. Thank you so much for following me along for Vlogmas. It's been amazing. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.